You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! 15 Minutes of Fame all day. That's my motherfucking jam right there. You know how I want to battle? I've said this. I said this in one other interview. Just because I want to, it, it would, it would, I want to battle Saga and, and not to, um, I want to have a conversation about religion with Saga. Mm. Like, I want to have a real conversation. Not like, man, fuck your religion and I worship the, not, not, none of that. Like, I want to have, like, I want to have a discussion about religion. Um, because it's some things that I don't necessarily like I, I understand your righteous brother you're on a path. Um, Jesus hung around for the worst people or whatever and to help better those people. So maybe I'm not calling them the worst, but they're just their lifestyle seem to be different from what it is is. So it's unique and it's different. Cause I got a homeboy that do gospel rap. Mm. And I always would be like, yo man, why don't you battle? And he ain't want to battle for the same reasons I had stopped battling for a while. Because it, I had to harness negative energy toward a person for so long that I didn't feel comfortable or whatever. So I, so when it got back to rapping, I, it was that, a lot better. That, that if pushed the wrong way can actually become real even though it's not really real. Even in your heart. Not even physical. In your heart. Like yeah, I, I gotta, yeah, that's what I mean though. Not just yeah. the physical part of it, but you can actually... Grow to not like a motherfucker just from battling. Yeah, just because you gotta, got, got, like, and it's, it's like an obsession. Battle rapping is an, is an obsession. When you're prepping, you wake up out of the bed and your bars are on your head. So I'm not like, like holding that neck. So I wanna know, one, how he, how he deals with that or whatever. So, um, so is that a battle or is that a sit down? Maybe you should interview Saga. No, nah, because I'm gonna interview him on the stage. Mm -hmm. Like, like, what we would talk about, I don't know what he gonna talk about. I'm hoping if he see this, that he go that route so it can be what I want it to be or whatever. But like, it's questions. It's, it's, it's questions. Like the questions that play mankind about organized religion. It's conversations that, 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 that play mankind about organized religion. And after the battle, I don't want to sit down with him and talk. Like, man, how you navigate through this? Like, how do you, how do you, um, like, because it ain't no, like, people make a big deal about, oh, Saga don't cuss in this, but I put out a whole fucking album and, and didn't cuss or say nigga once. So right. it, it just, you you just don't lean on your crutch or whatever the case is. Um, the impressive part about Saga is it's got to be a struggle. Like, in the churches even got to be a struggle because you're doing a form of secular music but I you're asked doing him it. how long, I think I asked him in the interview, how long did he think that will last in the battle rap world, mm -hmm. considering battle rap is a, you know, motherfucker, I'll shoot you, I'll kill you, blah, 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 blah. Like, how much of the same thing with Lux? Like, how long was Lux going to be able to do the positive thing yeah. before he had to go back to Great Hoodie Lux? Well, see, Saga so. is different, though. I don't want to make this whole interview about Saga, but it's just from a fan's I'm going to chop this up because yeah. I like that. Yeah. And, you know, I, uh, maybe that might happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that, a, that's um, dope. With Saga, it's a little different because he does this thing where he'll say gun bars. Right. But he'll just say, I would have said if I were you. And I think that's, that's, that's a way of spitting gun bars and trying not to feel guilty. It's almost like, like, like saying, I would call you a bitch if I wasn't a Christian. It's like, like you just called me a bitch. Like that that's what you did. So like, um, it's it's a very thin line, but like to navigate in this world and have all this shit going on, like you gotta have a strong relationship with a high power to stay out of that. And that's something that, you know, I pride myself in just being able to stay out the way. And I see him do that. And he can rap. And it all boils down to if you can rap. Saga versus Quest McCody with one C. With one C. It's only one C. I might add a second C <laughs> in McCody. Just to, you know. But yeah, I think that would be dope. I uh any any shout out you need to shout out, man. You know, shout yeah. out the league and, and you know. It's your boy Quest McCody. You already know what time it is. It's one C in McCody. Act like you know me. BBG battles.com. 
15 minutes is fame, the bar exam, all that good shit. You already know where we at. We in the yak right now, not too far from my crib. Shout out to my family. Peace. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame radio. Let's go. 15 minutes of fame radio. Now stepping into 15 minutes of fame radio. Yeah.